there are people out there who don't have necessarily pain now, yes. but their brain is more susceptible in the long run to developing a chronic pain condition exactly. after yes. an acute injury. Yes, and we, we did find a white matter pathway, which is a major highway in the brain, which is connecting the frontoparietal cortices on the right. We, we showed that in three different sites, three different studies, different scanners, different populations, uh, European and American patients, that this highway actually seems to have properties that can predict if you are resilient. And is it more connectivity in that highway or less connectivity that's predictive? So more connectivity seems to predict resilience. In addition to these findings, there are now some characteristics that uh, we can uh, s see in, in, in the structure of, of patients' brains that show that they are different. And most recently, we are trying to see if we can actually identify those changes, exact changes in animal models of, uh -huh, of chronic right, pain yeah. in order to be able to... Uh, identify those markers in the animals and, and really try to understand more in depth what do they mean, how do they translate between humans and, and, and animals. And of course then having these objective or as close to objective markers as we can have yes. gives you a target to shoot at in clinical exactly. trials. You actually have an, an outcome measure exactly. whether this functional connectivity, these structural um, connections are actually being impacted by the, um, the the intervention, whatever it might be. It has opened the door uh, uh, to new pathways, especially the uh, uh, the limbic brain areas and the mesolimbic pathways. And people out there are already doing um, uh, studies to try to target, for example, mes mesolimbic dopaminergic pathway because from the imaging data and a lot of now animal data, uh, it shows that it's very important in the development of chronic pain.